All right, folks, so today we've got another quick unboxing and setup video, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new EverDrive GBA X5 Mini from Crix. So let's start off looking at the box. Um, if you're familiar with Crix's EverDrives, you'll know that this is pretty much standard packaging he uses, uh, just a plain black box with the EverDrive logo and website on there on the front. And then on the back, there's an Amazon tag. I actually picked this one up on Crix's store on Amazon. So this is just sealed by one sticker, so let's cut that and open the box up. And inside you can see the EverDrive. Fantastic. I will say the packaging quality on this, while it's quite simplistic in design, is really nicely done. This foam padding on the inside really does help protect it in shipping. So there's the EverDrive itself, obviously it looks exactly like a Game Boy Advance cartridge. And you can see there it's got a clear smoke finish to it, which looks really nice. The quality of the plastic is excellent, almost uh, on a par with Nintendo's own cartridges. And the label is a matte finish, it looks really clean. Looking on the back there you can see the chipset in the cartridge. And the EverDrive logo on the main board. I really like that, again just a really clean design. And then on the top you can see the micro SD slot where your micro SD card goes, obviously. So the build quality looks really good, and uh, in all honesty, I would expect nothing less from Crix. So very happy. And while we've got this out, I did think it'd be interesting to compare the EverDrive GBA X5 Mini against the original EverDrive GBA X5. So here we have the previous version. So you can see there that obviously the original version of the EverDrive GBA X5 is a little bit larger, the cartridge is a little bit larger, so it does stick out of your console. Um, very reminiscent of uh, Boktai, which had a light sensor in it, um, and there were a couple other games that used the larger cartridges, so they're very reminiscent of those. But otherwise, the build quality is exactly the same. The only major difference here is the size. Alright, so now we've looked at the cartridge itself. Let's head over to the computer and get this all set up. There's really not much to it, um, but we'll go through the steps real fast just to get you started. So the first thing you need to do is format your micro SD card to FAT32. And for this, it used some software called GUI Format. And if you don't have a copy of this, I'll leave a link below in the description for you. So all you need to do to format your micro SD card to FAT32 is open up the software, make sure that the correct drive is selected, and then you can name the volume as well. So I'm just gonna name this GBA, and then hit next. It'll prompt you just to make sure that you do want to format the drive, so just hit OK. And after a couple of seconds, it's actually done. So you can click the Done button, and close the program. Now we've got the SD card formatted to FAT32, we're going to head over to Crix's website, and again I'll leave a link in the description below and we're going to get the EverDrive's operating system software. So in the main menu, just select EverDrive GBA, and then select the OS folder, and then you can grab whichever version of OS you want. In this case, I'm taking 1.15, which is the latest version. So just click to download the zip. And then once that's done downloading, just head over into your downloads folder and click on the zip file. And then you can extract the entire folder over to your micro SD card. So just click OK to extract. So then we're going to head over to the micro SD folder itself. And you'll see in there we've got a GBA sys folder. Now that's everything that we downloaded from Crix's website. So that's the OS and all the software it needs to actually run. And now all we need to do is add some games. So I have a copy of Gunstar Superheroes sitting here on my desktop. And all you need to do to add your games is drop them into the root of the SD card. So we just copy that over real quick. And we are all done on the computer. So now your EverDrive is all set up to play. So let's go test this out. I'm going to be using the GameCube's Game Boy Player just because it's easy for me to capture the video. 
So here we are on the main Game Boy Boot screen. And there is the EverDrives menu. So like I say, super straightforward to set up. Obviously here you can see that we've got the GBA Sys folder, which we're really not gonna mess with today. And then you've got a list of games underneath. So there is Gunstar Superheroes that we just added. So we'll scroll down, hit A, it opens the file menu. And then we're gonna hit A again to start the game. And it will reboot through the standard Game Boy boot screen. And we're into the game. So that's really all there is to it. Like I said before, the EverDrive is super simple to set up and is a fantastic little piece of hardware that I absolutely love and allows me to play games on my original hardware. So that's the EverDrive GBA X5 Mini from Crix. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please drop us a like and also consider subscribing. And don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Thanks for watching.